I'm not going to I will pay boys. They will beat up. Alex, you are not going to piss at me. Alex! See me! See go up. See go up. If I go out tomorrow, eh? You guys, you see this house? I don't know whether they usually have secret meetings and tell themselves, what did we do last Saturday? We need to top that because it looks like every Saturday there must be drama. And yesterday, I mean, uh, last night, I mean, this morning was no different. Who am I? I am here to give you guys all the tea, all the gist. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, please do want to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. So beginning with the party, we had DJ YC in the building. And the way the guys stepped into the party hall was so hot with their outfits. They were looking so, so good. I was like, damn, are those our guys, right? And then Big Brother did not allow the ladies into the party hall because they were late they were busy dressing up for the longest time and then at the end of the day we had just Tolani badge that was able to meet up on time so she partied with the men with the guys and then um Adekule was the only guy that did not enter so he was with the ladies Tolani badge was with the guys but at the end of the day the party still ended up being pretty fun because we had white money and cross to entertain us this was an avenue for them to show the full extent of their craze because <laughs> what I was seeing on the dance floor was full-blown craze, white money and cross took it to another level. And another thing that I found that was nice from this particular party is the fact that they were able to get the appropriate skin, um, I say skin time, the appropriate, um, hey, hey, I need to calm down, you're so excited. I don't know why I'm this excited, but... <sighs> They were able to get the appropriate screen time on like last week Saturday where they were moving the camera every two seconds. And then Tolani Bad, obviously she had she had new all to herself. So she had a good time, you know, they hugged, they moved from one place to another. I expected more from them, Sha, like um the fact that they were just there together, but she actually vibed with the other guys, danced with white money at some point. So it was it was actually a cool party except for some people that refuse to stand up and dance like you guys are the only ones at the party why not stand up and dance why are you sitting down you guys are the only ones that are supposed to entertain us but she did not stand up throughout um thank you white money and cross for making the party fun for us then for the after party which is where all the drama happens we had Tolani badge and new first of all i told you guys i'm going to share a particular video the video of a video of um sissy and alex they were putting the same thing earlier on and they were laughing and smiling and having a very good time um sissy has also reconciled with white money so but for sissy and alex i promise you guys i was going to share that video <laughs> Sadly, no points. It's not sad. I am a Silex shipper. So, uh, moving on, as I was saying, Tonani Badge and Neo, they were having a conversation, and Tonani was just telling Neo that if Ilebaye talks to him this night, if she calls his name this night, she's going to embarrass her. That if that's the reason she's going to fight on this show, that she's going to actually fight, I say, ah. ah. For her to have the audacity. I know I'm going to go up tonight. tonight mm -hmm. If she says your name, tomorrow we have embarrassed her. If she fights on this show, that's the one that I will. And I don't want to say she will. So... Um, after the party, Cross entered into the house with some drinks for the ladies and the guys, Kid, um, Kidwire, Neo, Pere, they were asking him for this drink oh. and Cross was telling them that see people drank inside the party hall, this is for the ladies, why are you still wanting to drink from here? And then, then, um, and then, I then I started shouting back and forth, give us a drink, bring that drink and then Cross, after some time he ran away with the drinks. <laughs> Then they now chased him around trying to get the drink from him, but they were not able to do that. Later on, Kidwaya finally was able to get his hands on one can of drink. If you see the way Cross chased him, and the next thing, the next thing they were both on the floor. Smarting, remaining smarting. Kidwaya would have strangled him. The whole the whole floor fight that was going on there. I was like, why are you guys playing such rough play? <laughs> What did you guys do? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> they ended up breaking Big Brother's wall. I don't even know how they did it. And I did not know initially. Big Brother was calling them into the diary room. And I was like, what's happening? It was later on that Sissy now revealed that they broke um, Big Brother's wall. I don't know whether they punched it or they... I don't even know. But I knew that that rough play was going to lead to something. No, there's something going on now. I don't know what happened to Cross. No, he punched the wall. He didn't see the wall. They broke the wall now. Which wall? Pink room. The next scene, we had Shay complaining of someone moving his drinks, and then Ike was also supportive because apparently he knew about the drink situation. So he said there were like 50 cans of drink inside the bag, and someone moved it while they were at the party. And Cross now said that uh, that it might have been Angel that this is something that she can do. I said, ah, Cross, you want to set Angel up? <laughs> there will not say that because of them, there's no vicarious to come outside. Yes, now, we, we, now have one in, we have like 50 innocent ass. Hey, I mean, the like, black people say you carry this or you carry that one, you see. That's okay. I know who they're gonna do. It will be Angel. Angel it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Then Soma and Angel, they were having their own issues. Angel was not just in the mood. Her mood was completely down. So White Money was having a conversation with him. He was not telling him that that is how Angel is. That her mood switches easily. That she has mood swings on a regular basis. He now told him, let him go and call somebody that is more experienced to give him updates. Tell him about Angel. Cross now came and was telling him that Angel's mood is like Jangolova. That he goes up, he goes down. She's not a good deal. It's a mood. It's a mood swing. So why should she be? This is not serious at all. So white money upstairs, Angel changed it for him. Like um he was telling her to have a conversation with Suma. He was just telling her about Suma's mood and she wasn't having it at all. Even Frodo was trying to talk to her that you know, let her just at least go and tell Suma that he's not he's not the main issue there. And she wasn't just having it. And White Money spoke about, you know, tomorrow being today, maybe you know something could happen based on eviction and then she's like tomorrow what whatever happens, happens. Free me. Sure. Free me now. Mm -hmm. Oh no, tomorrow now. Free me. What you go up on? If I go out tomorrow, eh? And so if you go out tomorrow, eh? And so I tell you so you can free me still yummy. I beg. No, Fraud now told White Money that he should quality kill, he should rest. That this relationship started here and it's most likely going to end here. So he should hands off, right? And Angel also changed it for Big Yo. She said that Saturday is the only time they have to unwind in the house. Other days, you know, stress and everything. That now is that is the day that they have to unwind. This is when Big Brother decided to do this. And I was like, we'll never even see anything. Next time, you will learn to be early. <laughs> Us for Saturday is literally the only time. Thursday parties don't count in this house. We don't unwind on Thursdays because there's still something to do on Friday. Saturday we unwind. Then then Sunday somebody goes. So outside we had Shay talking about the party and he was now the one complaining about those that did not come for the party he was saying that they should abide by the rules that they don't have two heads those, those that are following the rules they don't have two heads that now after now those that are playing by the rules or abiding by the rules will now have to listen to voters and those with bad behavior would want to um more like collect the money they want to win the money even with their bad behavior we were with the obey we don't get one head or two heads past anybody else but they won't give another person out of those people won't chop the money but the rest of us who come when they believe they obey we have to listen to the voters outside and the bad behaviors inside go they for real it's a lettuce face for me voters don't collect stray bullets voters on the outside have received their own stray bullets and then he kept on going and going you guys she said a lot last night he really said a lot but you know let's just be going first so he kept talking and then he now called them selfish those that did not come for the party he called them selfish and alex was like ah, what's going on more like we are the ones that are supposed to be sad that we missed the party and then you know here we are and this is what the situation is and then um she was now saying that the party was boring it was very boring she that did not stand up to dance if this sister was laughing for any of us at that party Everybody else in this house made it. They were selfish. For what? For what? If anybody did. Yeah, then someone else spoke about the angel situation mm -hmm. just telling him that you know he should not get angry he just calmed down neil now talked about his own story from his um his set their last party he said that he had to stay back for the most part of the party sewing 
V's outfit, right? I don't understand the correlation. I think he was trying to just tell him that if V was not at the party and he was there, that's new, she she would have changed it for him. She would have been angry. So he's kind of like understanding Angel's anger, the fact that Soma was there and she wasn't there. That's the only correlation I saw. From here to here, I speed. I saw from here, bit by bit, bit by bit. It's the fact that he's giving this gist beside Cholani badge. And earlier on, he wished V a happy birthday. He told the housemates to wish um, V a happy birthday. I was just like, okay, it's all right. And then we had Doyin and Kidwire in the house. They were um, having a conversation. Doyin was just talking to him about yesterday, because a bit two days ago, because of the whole back and forth. After Big Brother showed them the video, Doyin went off on him. So um, apparently, he did not want to talk to her again. But last night, they were having a conversation, and it was looking like some type of romantic type conversation with how she was just smiling and being excited. Even when he said he had to go meet Big Brother because Big Brother called him, she said, "You know, she all seemed to come back." I say her. I said, "If I don't talk to you, you're not talking to me." It has me. I was like, "Ah, let me leave." I was really pissed off. So when I'm upset, really just stay away. Just wait like three minutes, four minutes. Better come back. Yeah. If not, I'm gonna do it again. Later on, they now took the conversation into the room and Kidwai was trying to explain the part he played in that conversation that um, Big Brother showed them. Though he wasn't really believing him, he was just saying that, you know, he's saying the truth. And af after some time, she like agreed with him and everything. Um, well, he said, let him go and call um, Pere so that Pere can also back him up. Though he said he should not call Pere. She even begged him, say, she literally begged not to call Pere that this conversation is both of them. Let's talk about no, I didn't hear you saying that. My was when I'm going to put them I don't have time for all this. And then he called Perry and he came to the room. They were now explaining different things as regards that um, situation and that gathering. And you guys, Perry was just lying. Perry said that what he said that day was that if Leba is not careful, she's going to get, um, she's going to push herself to get another strike. Though he now said that that's not what she heard, she now corrected him and then he now. Um, agreed with her, and though it was not even correct, she's not careful, she'll push herself to get one more strike. Is that what you said? The, what I heard you say was, I yes. hope she gets one more strike. I did say, I hope she gets one more strike. This is the custom edited that shit. Paris said that they edited it. Um, uh, it's not a small something. What he said exactly was that we need to set this B up to get another strike. That's exactly what he said. Not that he's hoping or anything, he said that they need to set her up. So, oh well. That's, that was just what he said, right? So they were now talking about the um, EK situation and Kidwire and Perry, they were saying that they actually told um, EK that what he did wasn't right. And they also mentioned that, but, you know, he was also triggered. He was angry based on happenings from before. And EK now started talking about how he doesn't care that Big Brother, Big Brother gave him a strike because he's a guy that somebody has scattered somebody's clothes before in the house and Big Brother did not give the person a strike. That's because he's a guy that's doing that, that he doesn't care. Now, in fact, he has been wanting to get strikes since he came. Do you know to him? Oh, yeah, nah. Do more things. Somebody else carried somebody else's work. It's not a reason. No, but that was based on emotional but reasons. That's what happened. Happen? You get a cash strike. Big Brother won't punish me because I'm a boy. I don't care. God, I've been wanting to get strikes since for the first day. I don't give a so Ike was now saying that he likes doing more like that's the reason why he's not coming for her. Doing was now saying that he should come for her and that she should um, try it. And he now told her that she should dare him that he does not give a damn that. Um, if he was the one that they did that stuff to, that's referring to the Shei situation where Elebae took water from Shei's um, locker space, that if he was the one that Elebae did that to, that he would have scattered the whole place, like everybody's locker would have been scattered and he would have gone home. <laughs> no, do it to me. 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 So then he was now saying that Levi did not have issues with EK. So it wasn't really, it really did not have anything to do with him per se. So what was that? And then EK was still paranoid at this point, still talking and saying that she touched his friend's thing. That in fact, um, anybody is a target that is looking for a target. That anybody is a target. Like he was just shaking and vibrating and just saying he's looking for a target. Anybody is a target. I say, ha. 
So you guys, the matter now entered gear 1000. EK was saying, is that you're his friend or his enemy? Though he now said, yeah, I can be, you can make me your enemy. And you know, there's nothing you can do. I'm not scared of you. EK said, that you're scared of me. Um, Though he now said, do your worst. At this point, they were standing and literally going at each other. Um, Ikidwaya was trying to block the situation from getting really serious, but it got really heated up. You're my friend or you're my enemy. You know, if you want me to be your enemy, that's fine. You know what you're saying? 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 You know what Sissy and Doin having a conversation where Sissy was telling Doin that something is going to happen amongst the guys this night, so he's not giving to anything. So he was asking that he's ready that he came to this house to even catch a strike. That strike <laughs> is the name of his brand. That in fact, if your brother does not give Doin a strike tomorrow, that he's biased. That Doin told him do your worst. <laughs> So Doin is supposed to get a strike for saying the worst. Okay, it's all right. Meanwhile, we had CC outside with Neo. She was reporting Elebaye to Neo. She told Neo that Elebaye called his name while she was with Cross, right? Which is what Elebaye told her earlier on. Elebaye told her that Cross came to hold her. And she was like, leave me alone, Neil. So she called Neil's name. And then Sissy was now telling Neil. Neil now told her that um, Leba is with Cross. That in fact, he just left. Where he just left them from now, he saw them together. And at this point, is where Tolani Badge now walked in. I was like, yeah. They call it Cross, Neil. They call Cross, Neil. She did be Cross now. She did very He call her Neil. That cause problem every year. When I left her to start, she don't paint Cross this thing with hydrogen. I just hope Tonani Badge did not decode what was being said there because Eleba is going to find herself outside Big Brother's house with her mattress, right? So um the conversation changed at some point and they now showed us Shay inside with Kidwire where he was cautioning him, telling him that Ike is his brother, so he should more like sort things out with him. I was like, <laughs> what's going on here? What was this question about? Kidwire was also confused, like, what's going on? And she told him that he's hearing his name inside the room um, and he's being painted as a villain. That's Kidwire. Kidwire now went in to sort things out with EK. When he went in, Benita was with EK, just counting numbers with him to kind of try to calm him down. I was like, hmm, this house. Right now, leave him alone. 67, 8, 69, 70, 71, 72, 74. Later on, Shay was now telling Kidwaya that he cannot hold EK when everything starts, that he knows him very, very well and he's trying to protect him. So he did not like the situation that was going on there. That Doin is the one that's trying to push him to make a move and he should not allow Doin to, would I say, control him, that he knows EK. I went into that room and I said you are a villain and I came to you and I said please Ike should be out of whatever it should be because that boy I know kid trust me I know you might think you can hold him back I know if you know please tell us so let us know when the matter has passed be careful because I am not understanding what is going on in Big Brother's house again. The day that Big Brother will, will come out is is coming near, as in it's getting to that day, or he will send a bouncer, however. So we had Shay in the kitchen where he went to collect food that Neil cooked for him. So there were two plates of Indomie, and he was asking who has it, and then Neil now told him that he could take anyone, um, but that the second the second place is for Sissy. He was now I don't even know how he got to the point where he's like. He wants to, um, he would like to start a fight with CC. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So, who said this of CC? Anyone of the king? This is what CC prays. I'm not trying to fight with CC. Who's wrong? 
I've only found a fight with Sissy. It's okay, it's alright. Later on, she went outside and ended up having a fight with Sissy's bestie, Alex. You guys know I'm a shipper of this <laughs> bestie ship. And I'm going to be calling them besties whenever I'm talking about them. So, she and Alex were outside. And Alex was just talking about the attitude that he's giving. He was not responding. She now left. I don't even know if she even hits the kind of hits that he was complaining about. But he was not saying that she hissed at him and was walking out i said ah. well, sorry sir sorry undo ejo and then um the back and forth started off at this point and she was saying his old school that she cannot hit her team and leave she was now saying that she has been complaining about his attitude that his attitude is the problem why is he acting like that towards her and then started going back and forth the next thing she now shouted her name alex i said hey <laughs> Alex, Alex was now saying that you know she's respectful doesn't mean that you will not be giving that kind of attitude. She now said that you're not talking over me, you're talking over me. Alex said, I'm not talking over you, but I can hiss at you. He said you will not hiss at me. As in, you put that respect to yourself. I don't know you should not. And then that says something that you want to be talking about me that works. Let's talk. Meanwhile, in the room, in the sorry, in the living room, we had Doi having a conversation with Sissy. Doi was just saying that she doesn't understand that she is giving all them Capon vibes, Capon energy, and that now he has somebody that carries out that you know does something for him basically ek that would now go and scatter your things if you try she and then sissy now said that he can't do that he cannot try that that um if he tries that that she's going to outside of the house she's going to arrange boys pay them and they're going to beat him up yeah Sissy should be careful with what she's saying, you know, even if she doesn't mean it. Even that stuff that Perez said to Adekuni where he told him you are marked, more like he's going to meet him outside. They don't know the gravity of these things until something, God forbid, something happens to these people, then you now know that they will not go back to that and say you said you do this this was a threat so they should just not be saying those kind of things meanwhile she went on a long 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 rant in the room right in the locker room and at this point was talking about slapping it never had a fish slap her now provocation right this and that um white money was not telling him that he knows that he has been you know keeping his temper since he has been controlling himself since i should just continue like that that Leva is a child that's okay and then um she now said that they, they made um Ike look like a devil if i slap this child from here to here you slap one's back provocation have you Mm -hmm. But can we not be biased? Yeah, I've been holding your temper for all this while. They're going to give my own boy a strike because he could not temper his own. They made that boy look like a devil. Big Brother is just the one collecting all the blame from all angles. So it's Big Brother now that made him look some type of way. It's okay, it's alright. Meanwhile, he said he's going to be a terrorist from tomorrow. Like, he's going to be a terrorist in the house if he doesn't go home today. So, you guys should be ready for war. He is coming for serious but that if he doesn't go home and i feel like there's a high possibility that he would go home so i don't know we might not see that side the only thing that will be different if they say you go home tomorrow if i don't go home tomorrow i'll be a terrorist <laughs> and i'll be worse than him <laughs> i'm not even joking <laughs> um, so she is going to unleash on the housemates if he doesn't go home let's see how this evening is going to be if there's going to be room for him to unleash or the jury or the votes whatever let's see how this evening goes but it's okay it's all right this is where i end this video there was a banter between fraud and let me just leave that one so this is where i end this video thanks for watching and do not forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm going to see you on the next one bye love you